Batman the Animated Series is one of my all-time favorites. The coloring, the city of Gotham. This show was the introduction and invention of some of my favorite characters in the DC Universe. I love it. But upon rewatching the show as an adult, you definitely catch some grown-ups only humor. Here are six dirty jokes that you might have missed in Batman. Number one, subpoena. No surprises here, a lot of these are gonna feature fan favorite Harley Quinn. Let's jump right in with our unitard clad gal. In an attempt to bust her bow out of the clink, Harley disguises herself as a lawyer. When Detective Bullock passes by her, he just knows he knows her from somewhere. Don't I know you from someplace? I think I served you a subpoena once. It was a small subpoena. Right over my head as a kid, now it is one of my favorite little dick jokes. Number two, rev your Harley. Not only does Harley appear in lingerie, when the clown prince of crime doesn't seem keen on her sexy look, she adds, don't you wanna rev your Harley? Aw, oh, come on, Puddin. Don't you wanna rev up your Harley? Vroom, vroom. Oops. Implying you wanna be ridden fast and hard? I mean, no one knows what you want if you don't tell them. You do you, boo. Number three, cream pie. If we move into the new adventures of Batman, you get to see one of Harley's least subtle and incredibly dirty lines. Dripping in cream filling, our beloved former psychologist turned absolute wackadoodle asked the Joker if he'd like to try her pie and that she's sure he'd want seconds. Wanna try some of my pie? Harley. I'm sure you'll want seconds. Number four, this same episode introduces us to one of my favorite characters, the Creeper who in turn tries to put some sweet moves on Harley. And by sweet moves, I mean he wants her to slap him around, saying things like, ooh, mama, hurt me real bad, and passing out in her cleavage. You are agile, I'll give you that. And what else will you give me? Come here and see. <laughs> I like a girl who plays rough. She's just trying to kill you. You're young. You'll learn. Number five, an old fashioned squeeze. While the Dark Knight is the defender of Gotham, Bruce Wayne is a dirty dog. He definitely appreciates attractive ladies, whether it be oogling Ivy the first time he meets her through his pal Harvey Dent, giving a robot lady a smooch, or cozying up to whatever Gotham babe is the flavor of the episode. One of his best lines though, comes when Lucius Fox asks if he plans to squeeze info from an attractive assistant. And Bruce plans to squeeze something. So you'll try to squeeze some info from his assistant tonight. Well, squeeze may not be the best word. I know Billionaire Playboy is part of the cover, but he definitely seems to enjoy it. And who can blame him? Gotham is crawling with babes thirsty for a damaged guy with parental issues who they think they can fix. Now number six, riding rockets. Okay, this one is freaking ridiculous, and frankly, I'm amazed I was allowed to watch this show. In a, shall we say, climactic moment, stunt woman Roxy Rocket is moaning with delight with a rocket betwixt her legs. Oh, baby, you're the best. The ultimate thrill, the final stunt, me and you. Yeah, yeah, yeah! Parents, how did I watch this and go to Catholic school? Orgasms are awesome, or they make you go blind. I need one school of thought, guys. Very confusing for me. Dirty bits you wanna share? Well, do so in the comments. And hey, if your mind doesn't dwell in the gutter, I definitely suggest reading up on the trivia of this show. From who almost got cast to how they achieved that dark color scheme, it is fascinating the care and detail that Deanie and Tim put into the show. Let me know what shows and topics you want to gab about. And hey, thanks for watching. I'm Chris Carr. See you, Space Cowboy.